Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be unpacking issue 61 of the Mortal Realm subscription magazine. Here we go, here's issue 61 of the Mortal Realms magazine. And in this issue, we're gonna be looking at the Sigmarai altar and bridges, the map of the Great Parch in Akshki, and also battle in the realm of fire. So in the video, we'll unpack this, we'll get all the terrain out and built and put some miniatures next to it so you can see just how big it is. And I'm also gonna show you how I'm gonna build some terrain to go along with this. So instead of buying the large set that this piece comes in, I think we could easily start building some of this ourselves. So let's get cracking and we'll get this open and get started. I really like the issues that come with the terrain and this was one of the things that really drew me to the Mortal Realms magazine so really looking forward to this one and there's going to be another issue coming up soon that gives us another part of this that I think would be really difficult to replicate but this is going to be a nice template to build some of these little kind of pyramids ourselves. So we're going to get this nice sprue here and this looks like this could be our map, so we'll have a look at that in a second. But let's get started looking at the booklet first, and we'll flick all the way through this so you can have a good idea of what's included in these subscriptions. I've done a few videos for the Mortal Realms subscription now, but if you haven't seen it before, then you get a little magazine in each one, but they peel off each page like this, and they'll go into a ring binder that you get and you pay for these as well. They're an extra like $7.99 with the Mortal Realms every like good few months. And so you end up with three or four of these by the end of the subscription if you want to. But you don't have to pay the extra for that. You can cancel it. So that's no problem. And so these all store really nicely in there. And then really good references to use for artwork. And when you're painting things, they're really great. But they also build up on the lore and everything. So just to give you an idea of what you get in this issue, we go through the Dominion of Sigma. This is part three. So this is building on the kind of law. So anything in red really is looking at the law. And then the blue, the Stormvolt Ultra and Sigmarite bridges. This is gonna show us how to put it together and paint it, give us a bit of information about it. And then we start looking at some different gameplay. So we're building the rules. So each issue of the magazine, you get to find out more about the rules. And the idea is you play through using all the models and bits of terrain you get. And so you're building up your knowledge and really learning the whole game throughout this whole magazine subscription. And then finally, a little bit more information. This is going to be the map, which will tell us a lot about the realm of fire. And so a lot of the information is going to be taken from the core books that you'll get when so like with the Dominion release and the new edition, we got a new book. So a lot of this information is pretty obsolete as far as gameplay goes, but the lore is still going to be the same. And there's going to be a lot of references in here that we can certainly use for the narrative of our games. So let's flick through so you can see all the contents. And again, we get some really nice artwork in this Mortal Realm subscription, really nice. And you find out little snippets of information about other war bands and factions and different armies. So really good. I love seeing all the pictures that they include of the different battles, but it's the how to build and painting guides that I think they've done really nicely in this and really clear how to put things together. I mean, this is going to be dead simple. There's only a few components for the whole thing. So it goes together really easily, but the how to paint guides are perfect. They really break down all your paints and go through all the steps you need to paint it in great detail. So, I mean, this is a relatively straightforward paint for the terrain, but it really does break it down nicely for you. So you can see you've got a bunch of pages there with real crisp images, uh, exactly what you need. If you're more into the contrast paint method like me, then this isn't gonna help you. But if you wanna learn how to paint the traditional way, then this is a great resource to have. And I think it's really fun when you get it delivered. This comes from uh, Hatchet Partworks and every four weeks you get four issues. And so really something fun to get in the door each month and then you can just start building your collection and learning to paint. So for if you're new to the hobby, I think these subscriptions are really fun. But they also include like the rules. So you get to see like each time you're building on the rules that you've already learned and introducing you to new units that you can bring into the game as well. And then really going in on the lore, just again, really just breaking you into it step by step. Um, showing you how you can use this terrain in your game as well. So that's really good. And an idea of the battlefield so you can have like a skirmish battle. 
And then you get things like this sometimes where you can cut these out and use them as little objectives in your game. And then on the back of the magazine, it will tell you what's coming in the next two issues. So really great. And I think these are really fun. It's always good to see what's coming. I've actually got these ones or this one anyway already. That one's going to come next month. Um, so the skull packs are really great. I mean, getting one of those skull packs for $7.99 is awesome. Great value. So you can really save on some of these issues. So that's the actual magazine itself and a good idea of what you get with these in each issue. So now let's have a look at that um, like pull out map and we'll take a closer look at everything that's included with that. So now we've got this little pull out piece called the Blazing Crusade. And then as we open it up, this is going to give us a large map and some details as well. Again, nice introduction, good bit of reading there. And so this introduces us to this whole realm of fire. So yeah, if you've got the, the main books, you're gonna have all this information already. I mean, from getting the book that came with the Dominion set, this has got all this lore in, and there's some really nice sections in there introducing us to each of the realms. But if you haven't got that yet, and you're new to the game again, then this is really fun just to learn about it and get a good idea. So you'll get things like this in some issues. Other ones might give you uh, like a battle map that you can pull out and lay out on the table and use. So always something uh, different each time. And then finally, we've got our sprue that's included this time. So a ton of plastic here. And so this would be from the main set, the Shattered Storm Vault set that's available for Warcry. It's included in there and it gives us the smaller of the little platforms, these two bridges and a couple of little fire lanterns as well. So I'll go away and get this built and then you can see what it looks like put together. And then I'm also going to show you how I think we can make our own terrain to go along with this and then we can add that to the issue that's going to be coming out in the future that also belongs to this set and I think by using this as a template we could easily create some really cheap terrain and make it look pretty cool too. And here we go here's all the pieces assembled so the two are like on either end just came as one piece so no gluing for those but for this bit this is quite an interesting little platform with a little kind of locked almost cell door on the front and uh, these little bridges they're used for in the set are really great some really nice detail on those and I think they're going to look awesome once they're painted up with some dry brushing and here's a miniature next to it just to give you an idea of the size and the height and stood on the top there as well so nice little piece but this is taken from the Ravage Land Shattered Storm Vault and you can see it's the smallest of the three platforms that come in that so you know you're not getting going to get much use from this platform on its own and you're not going to be able to use those two bridges that come with it either but it's these griff hounds that i really like from this set and they're actually going to be released as two of them in one of the issues that are upcoming for the mortal realms magazine and here's that issue here so it's going to be great to have those and this small platform but i think i've got a good way of creating some of that other terrain if you don't want to buy it as far as terrain goes this is pretty straightforward i mean there's not an awful lot going on here it's just some really simple steps with some uh, like stone chips and marks taken out this bit would be hard to replicate but i think this would be super easy so if we want to make some big platforms i think we can do it with some of this eps insulation foam and you can see this on a lot of the channels um you know building different bits of terrain but you know size wise it's just a little bit thinner than each section here so it could just be a simple case of cutting it all out and then layering it up to match the same height as this and then you'd be able to use these bridges to go across it um, you wouldn't be able to really get this kind of effect on top um, but for sure you could create the platforms no problem rough it up you can get all this texture in this no problem with some real simple tools and I think that would be a good way to get the other two large platforms and then you can make the most of those. So doing it that way, if you got this for $7.99 and then those two Griffhound statues for $7.99, you've pretty much recreated that Storm Vault without the pillars. Um, but um, you know, in loads of other terrain set, there's pillars and things, so it really wouldn't be hard to put those in. And you can even get little plastic pillars for wedding cakes, for the like little tiers that go in between each level of the cake so you know things like that could easily work and and would certainly fit in with this so i think that might be a good way to go but i'm going to give that a try and i'll probably do another video 
where I'll show you how I do that. Um, I think it's going to be pretty simple. And then we can get it all painted together and then you can see it all set up. And I'll be using the board that I took from another Warcry terrain set, which I think will work really nicely for this Shattered Storm Vault. But if building the terrain isn't your thing, then you can find this Warcry Shattered Storm Vault online in different retailers. I've got Element Games and Wayland Games here that I use and recommend, and I'm an affiliate for, and they're really great. Um, they haven't got them in stock at the moment, but they will have them in, in September, and I'm sure you can find it on some others wherever you live. So have a good search online, and you can get it for a really good price too. You can see here at Wayland Games, they've got it listed for 43.74, which is a great saving, and you even get the board and everything in that. So that could be a good way to go too. So that sums up today's video for this Mortal Realms issue, and I think it's a nice little piece, but you certainly need to do more to it if you want to make use of these little bridges. Uh, on its own, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but if we can combine it with some extra platforms, and certainly with those two Griffhound statues, then I think this will look really awesome and be great fun for Warcry. The little steps, they're kind of not really great for the game none of the models can stand on it so you'd almost have to use it as a piece of terrain that you climb i think um but so yeah not really functional those steps but that's an option if you make your own terrain you could make those a little bit wider if you wanted to so um yeah i think it's a little bit wasted on its own you certainly need to add to it to make the most of it otherwise it's just more of an objective marker or a little bit of terrain just to build into the narrative of a battle if you like the look of these subscription magazines, then Mortal Realms is pretty much at an end now. You can still join and get some of these later issues, and you can even pick up the single issues online. I'll put some links in the description below, and you can also get them at like super, uh, supermarkets or news agents near you too. But I've also done a video recently for the new 40K version that's coming out, which is called Imperium, and this releases this month. And this is a really awesome looking subscription. I've signed up to it already, and I think this is gonna be a real fun one. So if 40K K is more your thing then this video could be of interest to you and I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful and gave you a good idea of what you get in these Mortal Realms magazines and also how you could use this particular issue to start developing and creating some of your own terrain around and so thanks so much for watching please like if you like it subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'll be great to see you there.